given this equation x squared plus x equals 17 plus square root of 17, then our goal is to find the value or values of x. I can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, our goal in this question is to find the values of x that satisfies this equation. So, we have a quadratic equation in terms of x. So, we have x squared plus x equals 17 plus square root of 17. Now, by observation, we have an obvious answer or obvious solution because if we replace this x with square root of 17, we get something like square root of 17 raised to the power of 2 plus square root of 17. And if we simplify this, square root of 17 raised to the power of 2, this is just 17. So we have 17 plus square root of 17. They are balanced, meaning square root of 17 must be the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now, instead of using x, let's use first alpha. So alpha is also the value of x that satisfies this equation. So alpha equals square root of 17. This is the first value of x that satisfies this equation. This is the obvious value of x. All right. Now, we know that we have a quadratic equation right over here. So we have two possible values of x. Now, the first one is the obvious answer, which is square root of 17. Now, what is the other one? Now, let's call this as beta. Now, the question is how do we get the value of beta? Now, to get this, we will use the beta's formula for quadratic equation. So, if we have f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, in short, a quadratic equation with the roots a alpha and beta, then it says that the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation must be equal to negative b over a. Now, in short, in our given equation, alpha plus beta must be equal to negative 1 over 1 or simply equal to negative 1. Therefore, we can say that alpha plus beta equals negative 1. And we know the value of alpha. Alpha is just square root of 17. And to solve for the value of beta or the other roots of this quadratic equation, what we're going to do is to subtract square root of 17 on both sides. And we get that the other root of this quadratic equation must be equal to negative 1 minus square root of 17. And that is, that are the values of x that satisfies this equation. So alpha, square root of 17, and beta, negative 1 plus, minus square root of 17. Now the question is, we know square root of 17 satisfies this equation. So x squared plus x equals 17 plus square root of 17. Now, how about negative 1 minus square root of 17? So now, let's substitute the value of beta to the variable x. And if we do that, we get negative 1 minus square root of 17 raised to the power of 2. This is the value of x squared. And this is x, negative 1 minus square root of 17. Now, if we expand negative 1 minus square root of 17 raised to the power of 2, we get 1 plus 2 times square root of 17 plus 17. Now, positive 1 and the negative 1 cancel out. This is just 0. So we have 17 plus 2 times square root of 17 minus square root of 17. And if we combine 2 times square root of 17 minus square root of 17, we get square root of 17. So this is just the same thing. Meaning, negative 1 minus square root of 17 is also part of our solution. Or simply, it is also the value of x. So we have two possible values of x, meaning x sub 1 or alpha equals square root of 17, or x sub 2 or simply beta equals negative 1 minus square root. Of 17 and that is our answer to this question so given this equation x squared plus x equals 17 plus square root of 17 then we found two possible values of x that satisfies this equation we have square root of 17 or negative 1 minus square root of 17 and as always we are done